<laughs> you look uh, so happy today. What's going on? Uh, actually, that's not true. I'm feeling terrible right now. Then why are you laughing? <laughs> Because I read somewhere that laughing is ultimate solution for all sadness. No, seriously, mm. what's going on? Well, I keep receiving complaints from my OpenAI chatbot users that they're receiving different errors like latency error, throughput error, connection timeout error, load error, mm -hmm. and I have no clue how to automate load testing for my LLM bots or LLM applications. Easy, you can use an open source tool called JMeter that can automate load testing for you through concurrent runs and get your load testing results all automated for you easily. No issue at all. That's it. I got solution. See, laughing always helped. Laughing or me? Actually none. It's J meter. Then let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Alright, so in this video we're gonna check how we can do load testing for our OpenAI based or in general our LLM based applications. You might have already created some LLM based chatbots like GPT chatbots, you have been using open AI models or even non open AI models in your LLM applications in general and you're wondering how we can apply load testing. By load testing, I mean, let's say you have a chatbot created and you want to give your chatbot access to 10 or 100 or even thousands of people. So the question is, how are you going to assure that you can handle that amount of load and run a test scenario before you suddenly publish it to, let's say, in production and give access to end user? So JMeter, what I'm showing here, is one of the most popular load testing open source tools that we're gonna download, install, and I'm gonna show you then how I can use it to quickly run a load test over some of my Azure OpenAI models. And again, OpenAI, OpenAI model, Azure OpenAI, these are just examples. In general, when you have your chatbot endpoint or any LLM application endpoint that you can call through HTTP, like an API call, you can run this load testing and get the results without you necessarily code and figure out a way how to do load testing, okay? so. Come to this website, which is jmeter.apache.org dash download underscore jmeter. Or just search on internet, download Apache jmeter, you will get that link in the first and second search results. And what I downloaded was Apache jmeter src zip. This is the source code I downloaded. And after you download it, you have to move this downloaded file, unzip it, and move it to your program file. So let me show you how I did. This is the unzipped file as you can see i moved that to program files and then apache jmeter this is my unzipped folder and inside this unzipped folder there's a bin and then you have to just click on apache jmeter which is an exec file you have to open that up let me double click on that there you go it is loaded and by the way as you can guess it is written on java so make sure you have Java installed in your computer before you open or Apache JMeter. Okay, so let's quickly test what we're gonna do here. Let me actually max minimize that so you can see the whole screen. There you go, it's much better right now. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna start to create a test plan. So by default, when you click on Apache JMeter, there's one created for you. You can just change it, uh, change the name. Let's say I wanna do test plan for Azure. Open AI. Okay, so that's the name I chose. You can certainly add any comments you want, but so far I'm happy with the name I have selected. Then the very first thing we need to define for this test plan is users. We're gonna simulate number of users, which is called thread group, to concurrently, or the way that we define, to call this endpoint, my app, my Azure Open AI, to make sure they can get the response and see the results, right? So right click on this, click on add, thread users and click on thread group. So you can give it a name if you want. The main three properties you have to input. So what is the first one? Number of threads, obviously, as you can guess, this is the number of users that I'm going to simulate 
to call my endpoint for this load testing. Here, let's say I'm going to go with 5 as an example. So what is ramp up period? Ramp up period is the time that it's going to take for all the threads to start. So this can be used for sort of gradually applying the, ro uh, the load uh, with the value of seconds you're defining here, okay? So for now, I'm going to put it in one. And loop count is like how many times you want to run this test. So if these five people with this ramp up period finish the test, do I need to do it again and again and again or just one time? I say just one time for now. Obviously, you can define the settings as you wish based on the scale of your uh, production application. Okay, so as you can see underneath, I have the thread group already created because I just added here. Now, we have the users defined, but we now need to define the strategy of how we're going to call our endpoint through these users. So JMeter has two type of strategy for running load testing, which, which is called controller. We have sampler controller and logical controller. So let me show you what I mean. For example, if I click on thread group this time, click on add, you see there is a logical controller and the sampler. So what are the difference? The logical controller, this one, is used to run the throughput or sorry, run the, the, the throughput and load test based on our test requirement. So for example, if I go to logic controller, you can see that there are different ways to control uh, the load test based on my test requirements. For example, I can do random call or I can do runtime call controller. So what is runtime controller? I'm going to tell that I'm going to have this test, the runtime get finished in one second or 10 seconds or 180 seconds as an example. So this is one of the um, logical controller types you can define for your load testing. But again, as you saw, there are much more different ways to do so. We can have it more complex than here, but here the most simplest one we're going to take. Okay, so what is next? We haven't defined what we're going to call. What is our HTTP request, right? So let me show you. Again, I'll go to the thread group, add, and we're going to make some samples from my Azure OpenAI. So it's an HTTP request. That's why I go here. And uh, you can give it a name if you want. So what's the protocol? I'm going to call Azure OpenAI, which is based on HTTPS. What is my server name? Well, depend on what you're testing and what is your scenario, you might have different names. So because I have no LLM application running right now, I want to directly do load testing over my Azure OpenAI, uh, let's say GPT-4 model. So it start with the Azure OpenAI name that you have deployed on Azure and dot openai dot azure dot com uh, and then the http request gonna be post also for the path this is what you need to take if you want to use azure openai so let me paste it here there you go so it is openai deployment this is your deployment name mine is gpt4 might yours would be different and because it's gpt4 it's a chat completion and the api version make sure you check that out from azure because these API versions keep getting changed. And that's pretty much. Um, for port number, you can use 443, but I think it doesn't matter really. And now we have these sort of parameters defined for our HTTP requests, but now the main question is, okay, how can I fill out the prompt that I'm gonna call to test that out? I can write down the prompt immediately here, or you can have a CSV file that have multiple different prompts that you can select from it. But for now, to make it simple, I want to use the same prompt for all the users to run just to do the load testing. So this is a JSON format, and this is my message I'm asking. First, I'm defining the, uh, the system identity that, hey, you are an assistant to help people find information, and this is my question. Or the user's question, we're going to do the load testing. And these are some open air parameters, as you know. Okay, so now we have body type, HTTP request. One more thing. For calling Azure OpenAI or your LLM API, there is a key for authentication, right? So how we can add that? Simply just click on, right click on HTTP request, click on add, and assertion, let me double check if it's here, not here. Sorry, I should double click on add, config element, this one. And then you go to HTTP header manager. So for OpenAI, you need to have two values. Let me add them. 
the first one is actually I have it here so let me show you the first one is content type so technically what you need to do just paste content type here and then the value going to be application JSON this is the header you need to have when you call Azure OpenAI endpoint and of course the API key so I will add this value as well at API key and yes I'm going to revoke this API key after finishing recording this video so all good I'm done now I have these two headers needed and added in the header manager to call my OpenAI endpoint okay what is next in case you also want to define the, how many number of requests you want to take to your LLM endpoint per minute remember there are some logical controller in thread group we can define a specific number so just let me show you you go to thread group click on add logical controller and the one that we're gonna take is throughput controller there you go so we can have for example every minute I want to have one throughput throughput two or three whatever up to you so you can define that as well just wanted to show you that as well okay so now we're done we have defined our test scenario our open endpoint but we have an add listener so what is listener listener is sort of the the person who listen to the npi the api endpoint results and aggregate the results for us for example did we receive the prompt answer how long it took what was the latency what was the throughput this is what we need to also generate this, a report out of it right so how we can add listener just simply all of you my test plan i want to add listener there you go these are all different ways you can get the results of your load test you can have that a summarized and aggregated report a view results tree you can have a graph so you can select all of them actually one by one so for example I want to see the summary report you can see these are all coming I want to add um, listener aggregated graph so you can add even much more and more and as you can see before I record this video I ran all these steps and you can see my listeners are these ones so I thought that these are cool to show in the video and that's pretty much all so when you have defined the listeners as I just showed you just click on run that's it so I just ran it actually before recording this video and let's do it again so I'm gonna click on run as you can see it is running let's see the results so you click on view results 3 you can see that these are my previous run before I record the video and I'm running right now so I should see more requests in, yeah there you go it's coming so green means my open AI is responding and in order to check what are the responses this is by the way the, the sample request that we have as a header and this is our prompt as you remember and you can see our post HTTP is created based on our own input and here's the response and GPT-4 said I said how can I how can you help me GPT says I can provide answers to wide range of questions blah 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 so let's see if all of our users are getting the same results there you go sometimes the answers are different if you're looking for a specific information oh no actually that's the same so you might see difference because there is a top and temperature value how uh, creative your model you would like be you might have different results okay so it is working and let me see a summary report out of it so so far I ran this test three times and each time I had five users that's why I have 15 requests in general and these are some information about my throughput and load testing stuff if you want to have an aggregated report if you have more and more coming in this is the aggregated dashboard uh, this is some information about the listener aggregated graph let me actually display the graph you can see these are some information about I think these colors are for example red is the average which one is the yeah these are the percentiles of the throughput mean and max so if I display that you can see that for example this is the average of uh, response in milliseconds I, I ran it too much that's why there are too many numbers here okay so what else there is a graph results as well we didn't run it too much that's why you don't see too many dots but technically the green ones is showing the throughput as you can it is gradually increasing and response time again not too much to show because I just ran it once so 
technically what I did I defined the way I want to display these results and run a loaded load test without me necessarily having actual users and we just changing a couple of um, settings here runtime controller for example I could have multiple users simulated run the load test in the prompt that I want to the endpoint that I want and check the results without me necessarily coding or defining any complex load testing scenario and good news is this is open source so I just show you how you can download have it running on a local machine add your HTTP there and run it and get the results there are much more complex load testing scenarios you can run the what I just provide you a walkthrough is the simplest one to just start and I'm also keep learning as, as, as a way I'm moving towards trying out different options here so let me know what you think in the comment section if you have questions comments I would love to hear that and let the community enjoy your inputs there and if you enjoy the video make sure you click on the like icon that's all thanks let's think about it for a second do you enjoy more when you thrive hard for something to achieve or you enjoy more when someone just suddenly give you the final results without you necessarily thriving for it? So, working hard is not that painful. It is really enjoyable. Then, dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.